been a long time. Uneasy rider. Well, that's not the one. We'll find it. Oh no, hold on, it's here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the one, all right, there it is. Well, I, I cut my, I had my summer haircut and I decided to go scorched earth policy, shaved off my mustache and everything, so. But I gotta grow my mustache back because my little grandson keeps asking me where my mustache is, so. <laughs> well, I'll just look through the wastebasket real careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. He took a hammer and hammered it back. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to grow it back, you know. Let's see. This is just this is a simple one. It's G C D round and round we go. Well, I was taking a trip out to LA to along in my Chevrolet. Looking out the window and digging on the radio. Well, just as I crossed that Mississippi line, I heard that highway start to whine, and I knew that left rear tire was about to go. Well, the spare was flat, and I got up tight, because there wasn't a filling station inside, so I just limped down on the shoulder on the rim. Well, I went as far as I could, and when I stopped the car, it was right in front of this little bar, kind of a redneck-looking place called the Dew Drop Inn. Well, I stuffed my hair up under my hat, and I told the bartender that I had a flat, and would he be kind enough to give me change for a one? Well, there was one thing I was sure proud to see. There wasn't a soul in the place except for him and me, and he just looked disgusted, pointed toward the telephone. Well, I called up the station down the road at Wade, and he said he wasn't very busy today, and he could have someone out there in just about 10 minutes or so. He said, now you just stay right where you're at, and I didn't bother to tell the old fool that I sure as heck didn't have any place else to go. Well, I just ordered up a beer and sat down to the bar when some guy walked in and says, who owns this car with peace sign, the mag wheels, and the four on the floor? Well, he looked at me and I dang near died and I decided that I'd just wait outside so I just Selling the dollar on the bar and headed for the door. Well, just when I thought I was gonna get out of there with my skin, these three big dudes come a strolling in with this one old drunk chick and some fellow with green teeth. Well, I was almost to the door when the biggest one said, You tipped your hat to this lady's son, and when I did, all that hair fell out from underneath. Well now the last thing I wanted was to get in a fight in Jackson, Mississippi on a Saturday night. Especially when there was three of them and only one of me. Well they all started laughing and I felt kind of sick and I knew I better think of something pretty quick. So I hauled off and kicked old Green Teeth right in the knee. Well, he let out a yell and curl your hair, but before he could move, I grabbed me a chair and said, watch him, boys, because he's a thoroughly dangerous man. Well, you may not know it, but this man's a spy. He's an undercover agent for the FBI, and he's been sent down here to infiltrate the Blue Fox Clan. Well, he was still bent over, holding on to his knee, but everybody else was looking and listening to me, and I laid it on thicker and heavier as I went. I would said you would believe this man's gone as far as you 
tear Trump stickers off the bumps, the bumpers of cars, and he voted for Hillary Clinton for president. I'll get it out here. Well, he's a friend of them long-haired hippie type guys. I bet you he's even got a commie flag tacked up on the inside of his garage. Yeah, he's a snake in the grass, I tell you guys. He may look dumb, but that's just a disguise. He's a mastermind in the ways of espionage. Well, they all started looking real suspicious at him, and he jumped up and said, Now, nah, wait a minute, Jim, you know he's lying. I've been living here all of my life. Well, I'm a faithful follower of Brother John Birch, and I belong to the Antioch Baptist Church, and I ain't got a garage. You can call home and ask my wife. Well, then he started saying something about the way I was dressed, but I... Didn't wait around to hear the rest. I was too busy moving and hoping I didn't run out of luck. And when I hit the ground, I was making tracks and they were just taking my car down off the jack. So I threw the man a 20 and jumped in and fired that mother up. Well, old Mario Andretti would have sure been proud of the way I was moving when I passed that crowd coming out the door. Headed for me at a trot And I guess I should have gone ahead and run But somehow I just couldn't resist the fun Of chasing them all Just once around the parking lot Well, I hit their hair They headed for the car, but I hit the gas I spun around and headed them off at the pass I was slinging gravel and putting a ton of dust in the air and when I hit the road, I was really wheeling, had gravel flying and rubber squealing, and I didn't slow down till I was almost to Arkansas. Well, I think I'm going to reroute my trip. I wonder if anybody think I flipped if I went to L.A. by Omaha. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.